Hello ACT installers, my name is Dermot. I'm a tech support agent here with ACT. So the purpose of this video is to demonstrate to you how to migrate from our old software package ActWin to our latest Act Enterprise. So before we do anything at all, we need to take a backup of our old database in the event anything should go wrong. So I'm using ActWin Lite here. Okay, and I'm gonna select the last open database. Okay, so this is a fictitious database I made earlier. I can see it has a controller and has 16 doors off it. It has its names. Um, I can then go into the users and I can see the users are in there too. So the first thing I want to do is make a backup. Tools, database, backup. So once the backup has completed, it tells you it has been successful and where it has backed up to. So in the event that anything should go wrong, we can revert back to that location um, at that time and restore that back in. And that's okay so once that's done we're good to go with our enterprise um, installation download our software you need to go to our website act.eu and of course I have it set as my home page and then I need to hit login if I have no login details I need to sign up to our website uh, then we can authenticate you and approve you Okay, so once I hit log in, it brings me into the Interact portal where I can access brochures, training documents, uh, manuals, um, catalogs, etc. And also the software. So I click on support and select software. And the software I am looking for is the top one, Act Enterprise. I hit the download link here to the right. And then once I click that, it'll begin downloading wherever you have uh, set it to go. So I'm going to minimize that. I previously already have the software downloaded. Um, here it is, it's a zip file. I extract that, extract all, and this is the result here. So this is the Act Enterprise setup. So what I need to do is double click this file and uh, run it. So continue, do you want to install? Yes. And then we get these warning messages. Click yes to these two. So what's happening now is Act Enterprise is initializing in the background. Okay, so this is the welcome Act Enterprise splash screen. We click next, terms and conditions, we agree, accept, next. Um, now, Act Enterprise supports two different database types. We have a SQL Compact for those who know nothing about SQL, uh, use this one, okay? If you are uh, SQL uh, proficient, you can select SQL database, you can select your SQL instance um, and create uh, your new blank SQL database. But for those who know nothing about uh, uh, SQL, Compact is recommended for you. Uh, we select common application data, hit next. Uh, where is it going to be stored, the location, next. And where is it going to show on the start menu, next. Create desktop icons, next. Ready to install, next. So we just let the installation run there. Um, nothing too difficult. Um, the only thing you have to be aware of is selecting the uh, SQL Compact uh, Edition if you're unfamiliar with the full SQL. Okay, so reading system information. Um, this is a summary screen of um, the version of Act Enterprise we're using. Currently we're using the light version. Um, it's registered, it's only for one client, maximum of 100 doors. It has detected Aquin Pro 2.8 Build 6 has been previously installed on this machine and it's also detected the last open database by Aquin uh, Pro. So click next. Okay, so it's prompting us to finalize the installation and we hit next. Okay, excellent. So, um, has completed the Act Enterprise setup wizard. Wonderful. So we're going to launch the server client and launch Act Install. Let me hit finish. So the most important um, uh, module to check after installation is the server client because the server client will tell us if uh, the service has installed uh, successfully and that is communicating with the database. So we won't worry about Act Install. We'll open up the server client. Excellent. So server state is pending, it's running. And on the right hand side here, it currently says that the server is down, but it's just initializing. That'll take a couple of moments. We want to see that say, saying up. And once that says it's up, it means it's communicating then um, with the Act Enterprise service and we're good to go. Okay, wonderful. So there's our server up and the database has been opened. You just have to be patient. So the next step now, 
Now that we know that it's installed successfully and the database is up and operational, so we can see where the database is stored, C colon back, back, backslash program data, etc. etc. Um, now we're in a position to uh, restore in our old ActWin Pro database. So if we click on Live System and then click Stop, so once it Stop Pending turns to Stop, we can continue. Okay, so it's stopped. So if we click on Database and then select Migrate Data, so migrating data will overwrite your existing blank database. That's fine. Do we want to continue? Yes. Okay, so the migrate tool has detected our old version of ActWin here. So that's our old .jet database. Um, and this is our latest one that we've just installed. So that's the Jet. There's the SQL Compact uh, that's currently empty. And when we start this, it's going to take all the information from the original .jet database and populate it into this dot sdf database or compact we also have a choice for the logs uh, we can retain all the logs from our existing database or we can do a per declens on it and select maybe only the last three months so we click start my rating data uh, will delete everything in the destination database that's fine click ok and there we go trundling along and migration completed successfully so then we click exit and once we've clicked exit, we can go back to live system and restart uh, the service. There we go. So if we open now act install, um, as the splash screens indicate when you're um, installing it, the username is administrator and uh, the password is blank. So log in. However, if you've migrated this from existing access control database, it, it will change to whatever um, that password was. So there we go, there's a controller and all our um, doors named. And um, we can then open up a client like Act Manage. And then in Act Manage, we'll see that it migrate over the users. I only had three users in that database. So if we click list users, there I am. There's the two, under, two other individuals. So that's great. So that concludes the video on how to install um, Act Enterprise and also migrate your old .jet database to um, the full uh, Act Enterprise. So if you require any assistance or help on that, uh, you can contact us uh, in ACT Tech Support. Our operating hours are between half eight to uh, half five. Thanks.